Hello, colleagues from Taiwan. Uh, first of all, I'd like to do my thanks for Dr. Yi Wang to invite me from, from this conference. I'm, I'm very happy to share with you because uh, I, I had a meeting with this team in Alaska in 2017 and, and the, the people, the, the colleagues, the data was exceptional and uh, you, you have opportunity to share our experience again. Today uh, I will talk about the Please. Uh, the use of uh, dental aesthetic, the innovation and clinical case based on scientific evidence and, and I would like to share with you our experience with laser and the focus from today is the Airbag laser uh, light touch from, from Israel and about the use in our clinic with this kind of wavelength. And uh, about my CV, uh, I work in the uh, University of Sao Paulo. This is a, a research department from the University of Sao Paulo by using laser. And uh, I have my private clinic, but uh, I was uh, president from the World Federation for Laser Dance during uh, four years. And I was president, I passed president of um, Wow, toward the Association for Laser Therapy, and uh, today um, I'm senior editor from the Photobiomodulation, Photomedicine, and Laser Surgery. And um, this is our our team of research. We have we have more than 110 students for post graduation, and the supervisor from this team is Professor Vanderlei Bayat from Institute of São Carlos, USP. And we have more than 155 peer review uh, publication in uh, English journals. And Dr. Fatima is chair with us different uh, clinical cases, and she has more than 91 uh, papers published in in the PubMed. Okay. Um, this year you publish four papers about the use of Airban, but the total number of publication of Airban from our teams, from me and Fatima, is 60. I'm, I'm very honored because uh, the site uh, of Academia seated as of the, the research in the world. I have 4% of my papers uh, 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 in, in distinction of this academy and uh, is for, for us is very important. You published last, e last year two books, one book is in English. Uh, you, can, you can do this book in Amazon in the United States. This book has 550 pages from clinical use of laser. And this book, uh, I'm sorry, but we have it only in Portuguese, but if you want to do this book in your uh, countries, uh, I'm very happy to translate for your language. This book is only clinical cases. This is a atlas from clinical use of laser, different wavelengths of laser. And this is my team that include Professor Jamil Shimili and Professor Samir Namur from University of Belgium, and of course my wife, Professor Fatima Zanin. The laser application in that changed the concept in the last five years. This is a point very important for our conference because uh, the laser in the past, in my old class uh, five years ago, Airbnb worked only hard tissue and uh, example CO2 laser work only in soft tissue. What is the reality today? Today you, ca you have Airbag laser, the new generation like uh, uh, light touch laser. You can work, you can make some research with this wavelength. And the other one, you can do uh, surgical tissue with CO2, but you have a special wavelength of CO2 that you can use from hard tissue. That's uh, the innovation of use of uh, uh, power laser in dental area, from, from remove dentin, from remove enamel, for cut tissue, for cut bony, uh, for uh, discontamination of the surface of different areas, like periodontics, like implant. That's a, a, a new view from the use of laser. Of course, you have other kind of wavelength that you, ha you have laser for fluorescence. You have laser from Raman spectroscopy. This is a special laser from diagnosis, okay? Uh, you have PDT photodynamic therapy with lasers. Uh, you have equipment from caries uh, detection, like uh, Diagnodent, like Diagnocan from Cavo. And you have the use of laser from phototherapy, laser uh, of uh, 
low level energy from therapeutic treatment, analgesic effects, inflammatory effects, and mild relaxant effects. Okay, and um, this the the graphic observation of uh, the lasers. Uh, we focus the RBI laser. The RBI laser has a very nice interaction with the water and the hydroxyapatite. This laser uh, can can do effects in the enamel because you know the enamel has only two percent of water but this laser can can interaction with two percent of water of enamel and can remove this enamel for ab abrasion of the tissue and that uh, you, you have very good interaction with hydroxyapatite and e if this laser has a good interaction with hydroxyapatite you can understand why they remove uh, enamel and dentina and dentina more fast than enamel because the dentina you have more water uh, for you understand, for, when I, I start to remove a caries, uh, the caries has more water uh, uh, than the normal dentin. And this laser can, can recognize it, can show you uh, that uh, you, you change the, the type of the dentin. They, they cut more fast when they, they arrive in the caries and the, you are the operator, you can look uh, this different of uh, interaction with the tissues, okay? In the, the equipment, you have different uh, parameters or different types for when you use it from the caries, from uh, enamel caries, uh, dentin caries, or if you use in periodontic tissue, you have different kinds of tip, you have different of parameters for use this laser. We work in uh, science in 1997, uh, 2020, we different lasers. The old laser from Cavo, and the old laser from Photona, uh, uh, different laser company, Airbio, Airbio Chrome laser. But uh, from, for us, the light touch is the best laser Airbio that we work in our university and you work in our clinic, okay? Uh, for you understand, this laser is the third generation. In this laser, you can use uh, less power, less energy, and you have a more possibility to work without anesthesia during this procedure because the laser cut very, very well with less energy. In our opinion, uh, uh, the best way from the success, of course, is innovation. If you are in the curse, uh, in Asian Pacific uh, uh, Congress, uh, you were thinking about what you can use in your clinic next month or next week. What kind of innovation do you need for your clinic? Of course, the laser is one of the best way for innovation in your clinic. The innovative use of laser in aesthetic dentistry is remove caries and resin very fast with light touch, uh, action in dentine enamel, remove veneers facets, a soft plastic surge. That's the topics of my presentation from today. In our uh, scientific publication, Science in 1999 to uh, 2020, International and National uh, Scientific Journal, you published 60 papers only with RBI laser. That you have a good experience in lab, in the university, uh, 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 translational research from the clinic, that you have more uh, 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 the 10,000 patients with Cavo K laser, and you have more than 1,131 patients use it with light touch, that's in the last two years. Uh, exactly to, uh, today, you have more patients, uh, maybe 1,200 patients uh, with the, the use of uh, air laser. That's important point for you, if you would like to work with laser or air laser, uh, you take note all the parameters, and after one year, you have a lot of parameters to study, to change, to, to think what the best result from, from my patient, for my clinic, uh, and you can share, of course, in the next Congress with us. This is very important uh, because I would like to know the, the experience of the dentistry in Taiwan with Airbnb. If you have the opportunity to send for me some letters or information, I would like to change with you, okay? Uh, you publish uh, different uh, preclinical studies uh, 
uh, about the, the quality of the dentin because uh, the laser removed the smear lay and, and they prepare the enamel for you use your composite after. And this is the PG uh, test of Fatima Zanin that she, uh, she proved that the Airbnb laser not increase the temperature of the teeth. Maximum 2.5 centigrade grados. That's, that's very important for, for us. Uh, in other paper, you publish the disintegration with dentin. You improve the, the, in three times the addition of the, the materials. And that's very important from the, from the clinical use of Airbnb uh, laser. And I would like to show you different uh, use. In pediatric dentist, the airbag laser, what the advantage for use? This less pen, okay? No vibration, no drill, uh, and um, no anesthesia in 9% of the patient. This is a big advantage for use laser uh, today. This is the patient, young girl, and you, this is the, 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 the tip that they use in this case and uh, to remove the caries and the young uh, uh, girl stay um, uh, no stress, no pain. And this is to remove the caries before and this is the parameters use it and this is the caries after the treatment and no stress with the, the this case, this other patient, this small patient, uh, this is the, the use, when they enter in the clinic, they show the laser uh, from, from the uh, children, and they make contact with the laser, and the laser is like uh, other kind of films, the planets, and they, they, they like very much uh, uh, the use of laser. This is the other case to remove resin or composite, and this to remove caries together, <clears throat> For you see, the, that's very fast to remove composites. And this is the patient. After the treatment that this patient, you remove the gingiva of the, this patient too. Uh, uh, you improve the size of the teeth. And this after the breaching. Uh, and this is after the direct restoration with composite. And this is the, is the patient very happy after the treatment. This is our colleagues from our clinic. Uh, this is a patient that's uh, 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 three kinds of uh, procedures. Uh, the patient arrived at our clinic and, and she would like to do veneer. And, I, and our team asked to her, you don't need veneers, uh, you can uh, uh, improve your aesthetics of the other one. You promote some bleaching, bleaching with uh, violet LED is our technique, the patent, you have this patent in Brazil, and you, you, you make the gingivectomy of the patient or gingivoplasty of this uh, this patient and you prepare a tooth preparation with these parameters of laser uh, 50 millijoules and 20 hertz and total is one watt in enamel with dentina different parameters and that they use the tips uh, 7073 and the tip 7074 uh, and this is the patient before and this is the after the application of laser remember that I told you uh, when I use the laser they improve the addition of the resin. This is a paper published in American Society for Laser Medicine and Surgery Journal in 2000. That's a published with our team uh, uh, of Professor Pecora from Sao Paulo University. This is the patient uh, after one year of the control of the patient. Okay. Other topic very interesting from Brazil. Uh, I think you have more than 40 dentists in Brazil. They just uh, bought the laser from the removed veneers. Uh, veneers in Brazil is the second uh, country in the world that uh, do veneer in the patient because the patient loves the, love the veneer, the aesthetic and plastic surgery. Of course, after several years, uh, you, the patient would like to change the veneer for other color, for other anatomy. And this is a big problem, you know, to remove veneers with a uh, hand piece. Uh, minimum 30 minutes for one veneer. And with RBI laser, you develop a technique here uh, that you maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes maximum, you can remove your own veneer. Uh, That's an important point from the new kind of use or the innovation use of uh, light touch in, in dental area. I showed the case in um, 
Of course, the patient would like to change uh, 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 this veneer, but what occurs when you apply the laser? The laser go through the, 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 the static uh, veneers, okay? 36% of the case, if you use impress, no have fracture. And the interaction with the cementation, they change the, the molecular uh, of the cementation and, the, and after uh, all the array radiate, you can remove very easy. Of course, uh, if you have a patient with the uh, silicate lithium, this is more uh, a difficult to tour because they have a fraction in this kind of porcelain. Uh, of course, you have, if you have a, a clone, a total clone, you, have, you need more time because you have the veneers uh, from palatine, you have the veneer from vestibular area, and you need more time to remove. You have different paper proofs in, in 240, uh, uh, and they, they show uh, the effects of airbag laser from the bony uh, uh, streak of laminate veneers. And, um, and they, they, all the papers show big statistical difference between you remove veneers with high speed, your hand speed, or you remove veneer with laser, of course. Of course, the different material, you have different transmitted. You need to, to train in the incidence of the energy of the air a little bit for you remove more fast, but this is easy. Uh, and, um, and of course, you depend the, the thickness of the ceramic for more transmission or more fast for you removing. Our experience uh, show uh, that uh, uh, all porcelain with MX you can remove. Anterior area is more easy than posterior area. And this is the different tip that you use. Uh, um, normally, you cannot need to use an ST in the patient, okay? Uh, but with this tip, uh, um, a, a 7073, you don't, normally you don't need energy, but if you need more energy, uh, maybe you need to, to use the anesthesia, but if the tip is uh, 7565, okay? Uh, porcelain fused to metal, uh, to metal, the laser not, no have application to remove veneers or clown with metalloceramic because uh, the laser uh, don't go through the metal, okay? Zirconia, Proceri, Lava, of course the laser uh, not work and that's an indication for the removing me is only from a max or disilicate uh, uh, porcelain, okay? What kind of porcelain? Okay, if you use luminaires or, or, or uh, MX of uh, clacking is possible. This is the, the tip that you use. If you use uh, Feldspatsky, uh, the uh, yes, of course, it is more easy to crack the, the porcelain. If you use the laser in the MX, okay, less likely to crack. Uh, this is the par different parameters and different types that you use from different kinds of porcelain. Uh, this is a video that you can show for you how you remove the, the, the porcelain. Okay, this is the video that you present for you how to remove vernis with light touch RBI laser. In the course of our colleague, Dr. Daniel Iramatsu, and um, I would like to show you the aspect after you remove the veneers, uh, because part of the cement to stay in the veneers, part of the cement they remain in the tissue, in the dentin, okay? This is apply uh, the laser. You apply the laser in your surface, um, in this case 30 seconds, and after you remove very fast. This is aspect to after you remove the veneer with airbill and you polish, and after this patient, after they polish the teeth, and this is the the aspect of the vernis and after the patient from the impression from the new vernis of this patient. This is the really key from Brazil. Um, do the, the right number of treatment using veneers in the past years, over 30% of the treatments need some heal work. Patients um, want new veneers for several reasons, change of the more white color, change of the shape, 
micro factories and desaturation uh, with the vernier and so but in brazil today current 9 percent 90 percent of the brazilian dentists who have got an rbi laser have both technology for faced veneer removal uh, and 50% uh, of patients would like to use uh, aesthetic veneers. Aesthetic is very important for the patient around the world. Uh, this is a different research from our colleagues that they present in the Parma Congress in uh, 2019. Uh, this is Professor Kinga Lenznak. Uh, they use uh, RBI laser from uh, remove the, the silicate clones from titanium implant abutments. Uh, this is our uh, colleague. Uh, they finalized your master course, uh, Professor Herman Giraldo, uh, in the University of Barcelona. They published next, last month in the Photomedicina Laser Search or Research, and they use different parameters to remove different kinds of uh, um, porcelain and different thickness of the porcelain. Uh, this is a very interesting paper. Uh, this is a clinical case from the patient with very bad static about this implant, but the patient, she doesn't accept to remove the implants. Uh, he would like to, a solution without to remove these implants. The treatment that you, you performed in this patient is submersion of implants doing the right speed, uh, treatment with RBI laser for three sections to discontaminate surface of implants and surround area, uh, photodynamic therapy, uh, biomodulation with therapeutic laser 608 uh, nanometers to modulate healing, removal and static ceramic facets with RBI laser to substitute uh, of a, a lighter shade, and veneers confection of metal, free fixed prothesis and ceramic facet. This is the, the patient before the treatment. This is the X-ray of the, the patient. And now uh, I show you the video to remove the veneers of the patient, okay? And you need to apply the laser in all surface of the, the veneers and the scissor area of the teeth. This is in around 30 seconds and now this is it's very easy to remove, okay? This is the patient after the treatment, uh, the aspect of aesthetic treatment and the solution of aesthetic treatment of, without the use of implants. This is the gingival aesthetic uh, uh, from the patient and uh, they use Airbion to remove the, the, the gingiva of the patient. This is before and this is after. Uh, this is our patient before and after the treatment. Uh, this is the, the, the final, the conclusion of the smile of the patient, okay? You have a lot of use of laser to remove veneers, in this case, and after, before the treatment, uh, this is with my colleague, Dr. Uh, Rodolfo Oliveira, he worked with us in our clinic. This is the before the treatment, and this is after treatment, before and after, before, and after. That's, uh, as I told you, Brazil, they, the patient love veneers in the part of the, our job in the clinic. Uh, some cases you don't need to remove, but some cases normal teeth, but the patient with bad quality of the teeth, they prefer to use veneers in the upper and, and uh, uh, up and down area of the treatment. This is a young girl, this is uh, the aspect of this patient uh, before the, the, the treatment. Uh, she, she doesn't like the static, and that you prepare with high speed, not with laser. This is a conventional treatment, but the topic of today is aesthetic in dentistry. And this is the patient after our uh, treatment. This is the patient before, after, and before and after the cementation. And this is the static of the patient uh, after one month of the treatment. Of course, when you work with the stacti, you change the life of the patient. This is very important. That's because this I love it uh, with, with laser to remove uh, veneers because you can change this veneer from the patient very fast and without trauma, without uh, pain. You have more innovation uh, in our clinic. You improve the number of the patients. This is our some aesthetic surgery with our colleague Professor Jamil Shimbili. Uh, and that's how these lasers work in soft tissues. 
this is from your move pigmentation, melanin pigmentation. This is the tip that you use it. This is the method after the surgery. Uh, this is 24 hours and seven days now for you the very nice recovery of the patient, the aesthetic uh, 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 after the removal of the melanin pigmentation. This is other uh, uh, other patient that still provoke in this patient crow littering and gingivectomy that normally use a special tray that you made uh, by computer and you prepare what in this computer what size do you want the new gingiva how how many bone you want to remove of this patient uh, this is special chip for cut you have just one one tip in the kit for cut that's like a, a bisturi uh, they cut very very well and uh, this is the first step is to to cut uh, the gingiva to expose the bone of the patient uh, the new size that you want this is the aspect immediately after the surgery you can I would like to show with the hard tissue, soft tissue, uh, the new size of the, the, the gingiva of this patient. This is the aspect from the enamel and the dentine of the patient, the cement, the bone that you apply uh, laser in this area and can remove uh, uh, from each area from different ways. But you can see after you remove the new aspect and after this you, you do the suture and they apply different chemical products to, to stimulate. Uh, use the, the balloon N uh, for the stimulate uh, and they use the uh, low level laser for the stimulate uh, after the surgery. This is a clinical aspect of the patient seven days after. Uh, I would like to show you the quality uh, of uh, reeling of this gingiva uh, and for us, uh, you in the patient, for this kind of case, you every patient use Avio because the quality of the postoperative of the, the, the patient is very, very better. Uh, this is the patient uh, after the, the conventional rehabilit oral rehabilitation, the new aesthetic of the patient. This is the last uh, part of my presentation. Uh, that's a very interesting paper that the Professor Jamil Shemili published in the Photomedicina Laser Surgery. Is the laser the best choice for the treatment of perimplantitis? Of course. Uh, in our experience, you can observe that when you use Airbag laser, you have very, very nice results uh, in the, the treatment of perimplantitis. Perimplantitis that occur until 35% uh, of the patients around the world. 90 million of implants sold in Europe, US and Brazil. The destoxification or the discontamination of the implant uh, is uh, the method for an implant surface clean is very, very critical. And uh, the laser to discontaminate the surface of the implants, you can do alone, airborne, or you can put with therapy, photodynamic therapy. And uh, the photobiomodulation photo to improve the wood healing, as you know, the, the, the quality of the tissue after you apply uh, the laser therapy. That's a, this is a combination of treatment with power laser and soft laser, okay? Uh, you need a very innovation strategy for treating uh, uh, perimplantitis. And of course, uh, when you use um, uh, laser, you have uh, absolutely, you have uh, papers that they show it that no heavy damage to the implant surface, improving includes the wood healing of the tissue. And the conclusion of this tutorial, of course, laser is the best choice for use in the pain implantite. Sorry, yes, it is. This is our paper, that's the one published with our team, the surface alteration with Airbuclone. When you use Airbuclone, you, uh, our, uh, uh, our paper shows there is evidence of thermal damage, okay, in the surface of the implants. That's probably the mid change in the implants, 
In other hands, the use of RBI laser, you have the same similar research with light touch, you no change, you no have modification, you not hit the implants, and that, that's uh, that's very security use layer, uh, RBI laser light touch in the implants. This, uh, that's the evaluation the temperature of different kinds of laser with RBI laser. The possibility for you improve the temperature is zero. That's uh, that's the recommend now during my conference for you for use RBI laser. Uh, this is the aspect uh, to, av to evaluate the RBI laser in surface to topography during the peri-implantist treatment. Use the 60 tintanium discs and the, use the RBI laser light touch Brazil with uh, different params. And I don't know if you know, but the, you have a light touch in Brazil too. Uh, you have a fabrication here of this laser, and uh, any use from thermopar and microscope, confocal microscope to analyze the surface of the implant. In our paper, they push this next November. Uh, who are publishing this laser in photomedicinal laser surgeon uh, with light touch. They no have damage of the tissues, okay? And they no have uh, improved the temperature and, um, and no have uh, any change in the surface of the, uh, the radiation. This is statistically significant results. Uh, this is other um, in conclusion of these papers, uh, RBI laser no damage the implant surface improve the wood, wood healing. Uh, this is other uh, paper that uh, use laser, RBI laser in 44 patients and uh, in, in use different groups with only laser, laser with uh, uh, only normal technique laser with antibiotic laser with anti-inflammatories and laser with together with the treatment uh, antibiotic anti-inflammatories and laser. Let's I would like to show you when you apply the laser. This put, you need to exposition the perimplantites. You need to exposition uh, uh, the area of perimplantites and you cut. Uh, 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 a small area of the bone, and you you use the laser for this contamination uh, of the 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 area of implants. The other other case application, the laser directly. That's important that you apply the laser in all area of the implant, and of course you use all the methods from from this case. It was uh, inflammatory, antibiotic, and membranes and and bone. Okay. This is the aspect of the surgery, okay? And in no case I use membrane, I use uh, collagen in membrane, you use what you normally use in your clinic. This is the apply, uh, the bone and membrane in this case, after the RBI laser. And this is all the result of the patient one year after. The, the result was very similar. They improved uh, from the new bone cam, and they, they, they you have the resolution of the perimplantite. Of course, when Jamil, Dr. Jamil Shemil, uh, published one paper in the photomedicinal laser surgery, he was talking about uh, uh, the possibility of either for the use of laser is the best. Uh, treatment with, of course, together with clinical materials that you use for perimplantite, but with laser uh, that you have best best results from uh, this big problem of the world. This is innovation of RBI laser, uh, like the our paper from Emo Laser Therapy, published from our uh, my wife Zanin in 2008. That when I used it, only low power laser. Now we start on new clinical research that you apply RBI light touch and you, and you apply laser therapy and they improve uh, the, the, the discontamination the area of the bone and they improve the glow of the bone and the good regeneration of the tissue. This is the patient before the treatment and this is after uh, um, in, in July and this is September uh, this is the you can see the new bone arrived because you are sure this contamination this area with uh, air again and after you apply laser from laser therapy for wood healing when I started my conference I told you for me uh, the use of the, the new kind the third generation 
of airbag laser is uh, a, a very, very important innovation for use in dentistry. Uh, the laser opened the new possibility for new clinic application in dentistry with excellent results. Uh, last six months, we developed clinical research to improve the ground of the bone. I hope in the next Congress, I, I, I can show you uh, the result, total uh, result of our clinic research. I would like to ask my thanks for you from Asian Pacific uh, Congress to invite us from this conference. I hope you can understand and I would like to, to see you in next Congress. Thank you for all. Thank you very much. This is me, my daughter, Ana Paula, and my wife, Fatima. And you have a big team in your clinic. Uh, more than 10 days to work together, but our clinic is a laser clinic. And I hope in future, when I visit Taiwan, I can show your clinic with a laser clinic too. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.